Hello everybody, Zorb58 here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be reviewing a laptop. So the machine that I'm going to be reviewing today is one that I recently uploaded to the channel, my typical startup shutdown video of, and I've actually been getting a lot of questions about it in the comments. Um, some of you folks have been asking the capabilities of the laptop, what you're able to do with it, how you're able to expand upon its uh, existing capabilities and my thoughts on it. So I thought this was a good time to branch out the channel and get into some reviews. Um, I'm a little bit surprised by the interest in the laptop seeing it's not brand new hardware. It is a really nice machine for the price. Um, the capabilities are, uh, you know, pretty good, kind of low-end Ultrabook standards almost. Um, so the laptop that I'm going to be reviewing today is the HP Pavilion 15. AB253CL. Uh, this is the touch version. Um, so we're going to take a look at it. So as the machine is starting up here, I'll give you a rundown of the specs. We have uh, a sixth generation Core i5 in this machine. That's an Intel processor. Um, it's the 6200U, which runs at 2.3 gigahertz, with Intel's Turbo Boost technology taking it up to 2.8 gigahertz uh, for bursts. The processor has three megabytes of L3 cache. It is a dual core i5 processor. The machine has 12 gigabytes of RAM. That's DDR3 um, SD RAM. Uh, it does have two sticks, six gigab gigabytes a piece. And that's actually probably where this laptop stands out to me at least. That is quite a bit of RAM for the price point. Um, we'll get to that pricing a little bit later. So uh, going into the display, it has a 15.6 inch diagonal uh, IPS WLED backlit touch screen that runs at 1080p. That's 1920 by 1080, the resolution. Um, it is a really nice display. Um, I do like it. Um, it does have a little bit of glare, and that's only because of the glossy overlay for the touch, and I think it's appropriate for a laptop. Um, that runs, uh, you know, at this level, uh, the machine's level. The hard drive is a one terabyte, 5400 RPM drive, which honestly is a little bit slow for me, and you can definitely tell as we're watching it start up here, it takes a little bit longer than some machines with 7500 RPM drive, 7200 RPM drive, uh, or whatnot. So there are faster drives out there. Obviously, you can indeed expand that or change it out with a solid state drive. That was one of the questions that I got. Um, you can see on the bottom here, there's a screw for the uh, hard drive itself. You see the little icon next to it. Now, uh, the problem is I've not actually opened this laptop up and don't plan on doing so anytime soon simply because I don't need speed out of a hard drive on this machine. I have other computers for that. And so I really have no reason to open up a brand new laptop. Um, but it does look like you need to take off the entire bottom cover to get to that. But that screw there is specifically for the hard drive, and that tells me that it is indeed um, relatively easy to remove. As far as multimedia drives and ports, we have a uh, super multi DVD burner, so uh, that'll do read write for you. Um, no Blu ray though. Um, we do have a, a 10100 base T Ethernet LAN port. Uh, for those of you that like hardwired connections, it's not gigabit. Uh, wireless connectivity is 802.11ac. WLAN, it does have Bluetooth. Um, additional external ports, we have a multi-card reader, so that's uh, very nice for those of you that are interested in using SD cards, different types of memory. Um, two super speed USB 3.0 ports um, with an additional USB port running USB 2.0 an HDMI output, um, and a headphone out microphone in combo jack. So that is one thing that I am not a fan of that most every laptop is going to this. I know that my ThinkPad has that as well. I'm just not a fan. I wish that they had separate ports for um, the analog microphone and the headphones. Um, so that's just a personal preference. Maybe it's a little of an old fashioned thing. I'm not too sure. So you got two USB ports on one side. Um, those two are split, the 2.0 is in the back, 3.0 is in the front, and on the other side you have that second USB 3.0 uh, uh, port. Moving into sound, it does have B and O play with dual speakers. I was asked how the speakers sound. 
The speakers are good. They're of a high quality. Nothing spectacular though. Um, but again, this is not an ultrabook. This is a you know a mid-range high and laptop, no ultrabook. Um, and it, of course it's a laptop, so you're not gonna get the kind of quality that you are from external speakers. And I'm a bit of an audiophile, so that just does not cut it for me. I use external speakers. Um, they're definitely loud. They're loud enough um, to where you can watch a movie, sit relatively far away from it, and use the onboard speakers. I just don't like to do it because I don't appreciate the tinny sound that any laptop is gonna make. The keyboard is a full style, island size keyboard with a numeric keypad and I absolutely love it. Um, I love having the keypad. Um, that's something that I look for on almost every laptop. That's why I like 15 or 17 inch screen laptops. It's just uh, really incredible and it is backlit. That was a question that I received on the previous video about this machine. The key throws are, I would say, moderate. Um, the keys are stiff, which is nice. They don't wobble around. They don't feel like they're gonna fly out if you push one end of the longer keys, like the space bar or the enter key or zero key. They don't wobble in the middle. Um, like I said, the throws are moderate though, so it's not as pleasing um, as some keyboards, uh, especially the ThinkPad. I know that Lenovo is renowned for their keyboards and I um, I absolutely love those keyboards, even the chiclet styles that they've moved to on their new machines. Um, so comparing it to that, I would say it comes in at about, ooh, if uh, you throw the ThinkPad, the X1 Carbon keyboard at a 10, which I would do, this comes in at an eight. Um, so it is a relatively nice keyboard. Um, not the best, but uh, it, it gets the job done and it's not gonna fall apart on you. Um, overall build quality is very high. HP has really won me back over with their designs. I know that there have been some um, overheating issues, even I featured one on my channel um, with their laptops in the past that have just been down to poor design. I haven't noticed anything like that with this machine. The, the machine is definitely weighty. Um, it's 5.51 pounds. Um, which is a little bit heavier than your Ultrabooks or some other laptops, but it is very nice. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. There's no creaking at all. The hinges are nice and tight. Even when I go to open it, sometimes it's a little bit difficult, especially when I'm trying to film. Um, but there's no wobbling whatsoever. I can put it on my lap and type. It doesn't move anywhere. The screen does not wobble any more than I think it should. Um, so all around a hefty machine, it feels like it's good quality. It is plastic, um, but it's good quality plastic and a, a really nice. Um, the touchpad you can see is a pretty large touchpad. I'm not sure the exact material of it. Um, your finger does glide over it relatively easily. I would not say it's as nice as some of the glass touchpads that we've seen. Um, it does click, a uh, very nice, pleasing um, kind of uh, pushing down on that, but it's... Uh, uh, not stunning, but it gets the job done. Again, it's large enough to be able to move around the screen easily and uh, your finger doesn't get caught on anything. There's no weird textu texture issues there. So dimensions of the laptop, it is uh, 0.99 inches in height. So just under one inch, literally just under, um, by 15.14 um, with the width. Um, which kind of mirrors the screen size, which is unfortunate because that's diagonally measuring the screen. The bezel is uh, bezel is moderate. I could go a little bit smaller. I would appreciate a little bit smaller, but um, it's nothing that's going to kill you. Um, and then the depth of the machine is 10.28 inches. So it does come with a four cell, 41 watt hour, 2.8 lithium ion battery. Um, the battery, I don't use this machine very much. I haven't done extensive battery tests, so I don't want to speak specifically to the battery life of it. I know that, uh, you know, it's it's going to be moderate there, maybe six, seven hours, brand new, um, just running basic programs and doing things that um, are not too taxing on the processor without having that AC adapter. So it does work, it gets the job done, and um, you'll get uh, most of your day out of it, you know, if you're moving back and forth between classes or, you know, going between meetings at work, it'll get the job done for um, enough of that time. It does have a front-facing HP uh, TrueVision HD webcam. 
um, and that has a dual array digital microphones. I have not tested that very much. I don't use a webcam very often, so um, I can't speak to the quality of it. It is HD, of course, it's a little bit grainy because it's a webcam, um, and it's a, one of the smaller cameras that I've seen now. Um, so, I mean, other than that, this laptop does retail for about $550. I know that this was a specific deal at Costco, and that's how I picked it up. Um, got some money off, so it uh, it went for $479.99. That's what I purchased it for. I'm sure it'll go a little more elsewhere simply because Costco is one of those club membership um, organizations, so they're going to give you a discount on that. But overall, an inexpensive laptop with your, what you're getting, especially considered you're getting that 12 gigs of RAM, which is hefty for a machine of this type, um, I would say of this grade. Um, uh, it is a high quality machine. The build quality is once again stellar. Um, so overall, a great machine. So in summary, the HP Pavilion 15 is a great machine for someone looking for a mid to high end laptop. It is not an ultrabook. It is not built as an ultrabook. Um, it's thicker, heavier. Um, a little bit of the screen quality isn't there, uh, and the battery life isn't there. Other than that, it's a top of the line machine. The build quality is hefty and very nice, and you just can't beat that price. Um, a little bit under six hundred dollars. Um, so it is a great machine. HP's really stepped up their game with Windows 10. They make beautiful devices, and uh, I can recommend this machine. It's really nice. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Again, this isn't my everyday machine, um, but I do enjoy using it when I get the chance to. Um, so again, this was my first review. Um, I hope it's been of a quality that you appreciate. Uh, let me know if you want me to do more of these and what you kind of want me to review. Push me in a direction. Um, I want to get into this more um, if there's the market for it. And uh, so I would appreciate any input to that. So. This is Sword58, signing out. Thanks.